Hello, my name is Giora Pinkas, and this is uh, John Barron, Giora's friend and colleague, and we've been working together for many years, and um, we're directors of the Alexander Educational Center in Berkeley. Welcome. The Alexander Technique is the, the link between psychology and the body. What we attempt to do here is, is to create balanced conditions throughout the body. One a very important thing is the balance of the head. This is applicable in general, and in particular for people who are working and uh, tending to accumulate tension during, during work. So it's not so much as correct posture, it's how to be flexible in different postures, and adaptable to various conditions that are changing. So when Gura's got his hands on, he's giving me a particular message, a very natural connection between the, the head, the neck, and the back. You, you can't just tell people how to make changes, and this is um, a, a huge skill involved in this work, you know, that the hands have their, in a way, they have their own language. You know, movement, emotion, posture, thought, you know, individual spirit, expression, energy, psyche, sensation, voice, gesture, etc. These aspects are consciously embodied, connected, and choreographed in the moment, they can be characterized in the Alexander Technique as the use of the self. You can integrate it in your daily living and your daily activities. While you exercise, and while you sit in the office and work, and while you rest. It's not a method that you have to take a special time off to practice. After some lessons, you can actually apply it in every activity that you do in life. So it's really... Um, a wonderful tool for modern living. When a person cannot get the help they want from the other systems, they need maybe individual attention, and this is what we provide. The Alexander Technique can go very well with other me methods of movement and posture correction. You can say it's like a tune-up of the whole system. It doesn't contradict uh, exercise or going to the doctor when needed. It enhances it. It's really strange that at age 64 I feel better than I did at age 34. I got interested in the Alexander Technique because I wanted to feel more at home in my body. I use the Alexander Technique in uh, physical therapy practice. When you're working in them, traditionally a lot of therapists will, will stretch them really hard and try to force them beyond pain, which I found that um, if you can just use the technique in inhibiting that, in releasing a lot of the guarding and tension, uh, it produces a lot of good results in, in range of motion. Immediately I thought, oh my god, I've been waiting for this experience my whole life. The technique has given me tools to have more choice in the way that I react in my life. Within six months, I had lost all of my neck and shoulder pain, and it rarely returns now. It's never boring because your self provides you with lots of material to explore and um, so I've been really thankful for all the tools I've been given and the incredible kind of opportunity to open and um, feel younger than young. <laughs> As you notice, people come from all different kinds of background. It applies to all kinds of activities. So people who graduate from the training school um, some of them go into private practice. Also, we do corporate wellness programs and some musicians that we've had use the work. So, we've, we feel that although this work is, is a very old work in a way, it's been around nearly 120 years, but at the, at the moment, there's a lot of interest, a lot of interest in this work. We provide help, very expert help, uh, to people who suffer from postural problems, from back aches, from neck problems and tension, uh, and the like. People are welcome to visit our school and to have a free demonstration of, of this work. That's why we're the Alexander Educational Center in Berkeley. <laughs>